Your backers. Yup, and I'm here. I'm ready to read out these uh, the red team spawns here. Team Predators, this is our grand finals. The first of potentially two games. We have the Greasy Dream, Pada by Mighty Keb. This is a Gatling uh, Banshee Squid with a rear flare, uh, <laughs> flamethrower, excuse me. Their ally is the Cancerbula, piloted by Princess Tutu. It is a center Hades Mobula, dual arts on the lower deck with, uh, with hmm, dual Gatlings on the outer wings. Hmm. Well, over on Blue Team, we got Skyborn, piloted by Sunshim. It is a Hades Mobula with a left side Light Flak Artemis and right side Gat Artemis. Same as last match, I think. And we also got the Mi Alpha Mike Foxshot is another Hades Mobula, piloted by Dark Knight. It has a Flare Artemis right side and a Banshee Artemis left side. And now already the Greasy Dream has, uh, has charged forward here, exposing himself, distracting Blue Team, which has given uh, Cancerbula the chance to get up on behind Skyborn. But I don't think he's going to be able to do any significant damage by himself. Especially with a lot of these Hades shots missing. Skyborn doing a good job uh, utilizing the vertical acceleration of the mob and also backing off to change the, the distance to throw off the... Uh, Hades is one of the more difficult weapons in the game, uh, being an arcing weapon. So... That's something... One thing Yes, absolutely. One thing, uh, another uh, advantage that the uh, Blue Mobula has or had in this uh, fight was being higher. Because the Hades being a difficult weapon to shoot, oftentimes you'll hit their balloon with the Hades instead of the, the hole against this Mobula. So is the more Hades that hit balloon, generally the better off uh, you are. Or the, the, the ship getting hit by the Hades of the balloon is. Especially when you have engineers diligently uh, applying chem spray, because it does take a while. With like without the the stacks of fire doing consistent damage, it does take a while for the Hades to actually knock down a target's balloon. And now it looks like Skyborn's going to be moving in on Cancer. They're slowly uh, Alpha Mike Foxtrot also slowly backing away from from the Greasy Dream here, and Skyborn does have the height advantage. Uh, not too much damage coming out, so I guess I guess Foxtrot going to try to keep Greasy Dream occupied while Skyborn goes for the kill. Greasy Dream looks like they might be coming in to engage. Now, Alpha Mike Foxtrot does not have Hydrogen, unlike these other Mobulus, so Greasy Dream has the biggest advantage against Alpha Mike. And also Skyborn doing a nice little, nice little back up here. Now they've got, they're using the right side Gatling on the Skyborn to go for the Greasy Dream while the other two guns go over to the Cancerbula. For, the I'm going to force the Greasy Dream out. Yeah, they're pretty disabled. That The buffed armor kept their armor alive in that whole engagement. Otherwise, it would have gone down. But that squid's buffed armor. Buffed armor or OP? <laughs> I guess so. What is that, a 30% uh, armor increase? It is, yes. It all, it's also the longest buff. It takes the longest to buff armor. And that's why you typically don't see buffed armor on a squid, a goldfish, or a spire, because it's it's 30%, and, and well, typically... Armor yeah. goes down so frequently, and every time every time the armor goes down, you have to reapply that buff. Yes. It's also the reason why I still it's, have not gotten the 125 hull buff achievement, <laughs> because A, who buffs hull, uh, B, uh... It's three. The buff is length is three minutes, so I calculated it out. It's something like six hours of buffing, or, or something, to get that achievement. Damn. Uh, but as it sounds, Greasy Dream kind of ducked past Skyborn's position behind this rock, so they're going to be sitting there waiting for an opportunity to maybe flank one of these blue ships. I don't think Alpha Mike's going to let that happen, and no. the S Skyborn is uh, putting some pretty effective. It's, it's effective enough against the Cancer. The Cancer being low, all these Hades shots are going directly into the Cancer's hole, while some of the Cancer shots are just hitting the Skyborn's balloon. Yeah, Skyborn has a pretty strong advantage here, considering they do have the high ground, uh, and because they've got the open position, Cancer is the one hiding behind terrain. Anytime Cancer pops out, Skyborn's going to be the first to start landing shots, 
which is just going to force Cancer back down behind the big gun, which means Skyborn is always going to have the height advantage. But it seems they might be turning to Greasy Dream now, which is... No, no, they have. They're realizing, no, that's a bad idea. We can't let yeah. the Cancer do what the Cancer wants to do, and they're going to keep this fight. Keep this fight fair. And a Skyborn team, real practice on these Mobulus. Probably real practice with the, uh, the Hades of Lair and Miss Combo, too. And you can see it. You can see it against the, uh, the Cancer just taking a lot of armor damage and consistently getting the gun disables. Guns disabled. You can also, if you check out the uh, the name, the Hades Gunner on the Skyborn, <laughs> Super Hades Man. Uh, you know, maybe we'll never find you know find out what his secret identity is, but we know he's we, his superpower apparently high accuracy with uh, with arcing weapons. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this. These engagements aren't going to go well for the predators. They need to find a different route. They can't. The cancer can't just uh, stick behind the side gun. They're not going to win during this. And the greasy dream. They the greasy dream has too much distance. They need to cover to get to the alpha mic in order to in order to take them down. We see both the blue ships pointing towards greasy dream. It looks like this can yeah, give they cancer. Well, they saw Cancer was repositioning, so this is an opportunity where uh, Skyborn does not have to worry about any incoming Mobula fire, uh, if, you know, for the next 30 seconds or so, before Cancer finds his, his new sniping spot. But at the same time, like, they're not gonna... probably not gonna catch this squid. Like, Mighty, Mighty Keb is a good squid pilot, and he's pretty smart, so I don't think he, he's gonna just, like, hop out into the open and take a bunch of damage. Oh, he's he's gonna avoid as much damage as he can with all this uh, cover around him. He has a, a nice position. He's not gonna take any damage, but he also can't accomplish much right here. He can he can distract the uh, Alpha Mike while the Cancer gets shots onto the uh, the Skyborn. That's about it. I've also uh, I've gotten a tip from uh, my informant. Uh, Super Hades man, in fact, Dmitri um, Roshkov. Roshkov. Can we see? I want to see. Was he piloting last week for? Uh... I, yes, I think I think so. And so he's a, a man of many talents. See, almost every gun on this uh, cancer was disabled, and they only had one Arnmus uh, alive. These Arnmus are being real effective on the other skyboard. Hmm. So actually one question I have, which I guess is a question for the referee, is what happens if this game ends in a tie? Coin flip. Because, I mean, Predators do, theoretically, like, they do have the game advantage because they did come from the winner's bracket. So if this ends in a tie, do they win? Or or do it, does it just add another game to the set? Uh, I think, I think, I assume they do the coin flip. Which, uh, mm. Skyborn taking a little bit of damage right here. Cancer's actually able to get some great, great hits on the Skyborn, which, uh, managed to do a, uh, little bit of damage. Yeah, because I'm just, I'm, like, trying to think, because, like, Sky, Skyborn are, like, a fish in water here. Like, this is exactly what they want. They want a big, wide-open map. They want to force Red Team to come to them. They're just so good. Like I've I've said it over and over today. They're so good at maintaining that defensive formation, and they're very difficult to assault. And so, like I don't know what predators actually need to do here. I mean, they, I, I, it's like some sort of extremely aggressive charge where Greasy Dream gets another nice solid connection with the front of his ship. That's the the only way I could really see this going in predators' favor. But as it stands now, Greasy Dream has risen up here. They're gonna lose their whole armor. Yeah, their buff tool went out. Some Banshees hitting. But, the uh... Balloon very low as well. Cancer's too far... mid too far away. I mean, they're, they're moving in. Let's see if they can get some... But you see these Hades and Artemis are mostly missing the Skyborn. The Skyborn's moving down, which is making a lot of these Hades and Artemis Oh, miss. and in the meantime, Greasy Dream continuing to take damage. The whole armor on the squid rebuilds very quickly, but they will... 
eventually just get picked away before they can escape, especially with these engines constantly going down. Yes. These broken engines are, uh, are really hurting them. And I think realizing that they can't really escape here. Oh, 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 Skyborn taking a lot of damage from cancer. Uh, Greasy Dream realizing they're not going to be able to escape instead turns around here. You know, if, if they can manage, keep their whole integrity intact, there can maybe be a spot where they can still contribute to this fight because Skyborn is very heavily damaged. Cancer is moving down, going for a ram. Finishing off the Skyborn at close range here. And now Greasy Dream, with this, this new position, he's in a great spot to capitalize on this. Alpha Mike Foxtrot, no ally, no way to escape from this. You can't escape from this squid. Galen going to finish off the whole armor. The Banshee's coming out. The Hades Artemis from the Cancerbula. The next hole break is going to do it for Alpha Mike Foxtrot. And that's a second point yeah. for, for Team Predators. It was a very solid engagement, right? That's exactly what they needed. Now, the squid's almost dead. I mean, honestly, the squid might even want to just commit suicide, but um, they ran out of a lot of time right here, which uh, gives the Predators a bit of a, a, a huge advantage if they can uh, if they can just play defensive right, defensively right here. Well, they, they are on blue side of the map, right? Yes. So, like, the one issue... Is they have to be wary. There's the spawn already. Uh, they're going for the, the south spawn. This is behind the Predator's position. So anything like, if they say decide to suicide their ship, ship uh, Cancer might not actually be able to get out of Blue's spawn zone before they start taking damage. Yeah, they lost their chance. They should have just uh, suicide immediately. But, of course, that's not a uh, tactic you really want to do in these competitive matches. I've seen it done once by the Riders, but... Uh... When you're up more, you're up two points, like, you can, it's an option, it's definitely an option, because, yes, you, you're giving up one point to your opponent, but if you go into a fight with a heavily damaged ship, uh, you could easily be giving them two instead. Um, however, it looks like Skyborn has found the Predators, they tried to take a, a position behind this large rock, but not gonna protect them for long, Greasy Dream... Cancer is going to quick, be very quickly be taking the fire of both the blue mobulas. He's trying to circle around the mountain to to get out of these arcs. <laughs> this is this is the mobulas' one real weakness is tall, round pieces of terrain. It's not it's not very good at chasing targets around them because it does not turn very quickly. However, now with the greasy dream coming in from behind, Alpha Mike Foxtrot is forced to turn around, put in a little bit of suppressive damage to keep the greasy dream out. And they're doing, a, they're doing a full 360 here. Cancerbula also has managed to put out a, a, about 60% damage on the Skyborn, which is not bad here. It means they now have the whole advantage in this 1v1 fight. And if they get another armor break here, they could get a kill. And I think here's the armor break. Do we have the follow-up? Do we have the Artemis? More damage coming in, but Alpha Mike Foxtrot able to support his ally. Greasy Dream coming back in. Let's see if we can, uh, just a couple buff Grease Banshees will get them. Yeah. And now Alpha Mike Foxtrot once again left alone. If they can, you know, they haven't actually lost their whole armor just yet, so they haven't taken any permanent damage. And they are still on blue side of the map. They're very close to the, uh, northwest's blue spawn. So if they can... Stay alive if they cannot take too much damage. Uh, Skyborn has the chance to take a close spawn here to support their, their ally. But I think the window on that is... Yeah, the window on that is just about closed with Greasy Dream. An excellent kill with the Greased Banshee. Skyborn is back in here, which uh, isn't what they want. Because you see, Cancer, these last two engagements... Have been um, the pre Team Predators have really... Really did an excellent job piloting and and shooting with these uh this mobulus their 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 Hades and Artemis have been on point these last few engagements. Absolutely, but they haven't won just yet. The odds are of course uh significantly in their favor. Five they have a, a four point lead. 
Five points left on the match timer. However, the one thing going for the Skyborn is both the red ships below 50% health. So if they can pick up two fast kills, uh, then race over the red side of the map to catch the newly respawned ships, they could string together enough kills to make something happen, but it's very unlikely at this point. So Greasy Dream going to be hanging out low, ready to ambush the first blue ship that pops up over this mountain. You can see Cancer just moving back, just uh, avoiding fire from Skyborn. It looks like Greasy Dream is breaking off to engage Skyborn, maybe. If yeah, they, here they go. They might not even know where they are. They were unspotted. But, uh... Yeah, moving forward a little a little too far. Ooh. So Greasy Dream slightly out of position, and Cancer is going to go down here very quickly. And can can Skyborn, can they rack up the second kill? They need to capitalize on this. They can't afford to give up any kills at this point. They're so important. And Greasy Dream's very low. If we get an armor break here, a lot of those Hades missing. Artemis going into the balloon, but I think I think they are cornered. The buff timer's keeping them alive, really. <laughs> the buffed armor, man. The secret MVP of today's tournament. Oh, but here we go. This looks like the end. Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's second point for the Skyborn. And now let's uh, let's burn those engines a bit. Let's let's trek on over trek east, trek east, young Mobula. Uh, four minutes left. Even if uh, even if the. the the team predators just uh, go in and die twice. It's still, they still win, right? They got the first uh, first kill. Yes, that is true. So really, there's not too much blue team can do right here in only three minutes. Red team can just charge in and give up two ships, and uh, it'll still they'll still win. Hmm. And it looks like they're once again Predators with the lead, with the timer, counting down, playing this very defensively. They're holed up here in the corner of the map. I'm not sure let I'm not sure they're going to be the Skyborn's even going to be able to find their opponents before the timer expires, let alone kill them. And they yeah, they're just like they have no idea. They're just here, off to the north. Hanging out in their mobulas. So impressive to see Predators coming back with such strength after kind of uh, being on break for most of January. Uh, they see they <laughs> they saw the Skyborn the winning four consecutive tournaments, and they're like, "Wait, wait, we can't let this stand. <laughs> we need to uh, we need to show you what's up." Have you heard of this ship called the Squid? Yeah, we haven't seen uh, squids. In a while, at least, I think. No, the two most prominent squid pilots in the game at this point, uh, Mighty Keb, which we see here, on the Greasy Dream, and also Finks for their riders. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what Finks has been doing. We haven't seen him that We haven't seen him uh, that recently. I also think he's been flying a lot of goldfish. But we do have a spot going down on Cancerbula. But it's just not, not going to have enough time. Because they do, as you say, they need to kill both the red ships. They need to win this fight outright very quickly and then pick up a, a third kill. But Cancerbula, whole armor down, taking quite a bit of damage. Greasy Dream strafing up on behind the Skyborn, engaging the Gatling of their own. Might be able to get a fast kill on Cancerbula with this armor break. Skyborn moving forward. Both the ships are heavily damaged, ram. and Skyborn with a nice ram. This is it. Yeah, that's that's about it. So Team Predators taking the grand finals very decidedly, five to one. What looked at the beginning of the the match, it looked like Skyborn had a very strong defensive position that uh, Red Predators was not able. They weren't able to find a good angle on, but just able, they kind of baited them out of that position, and from there. Really steamrolled the match. Uh, great job to them.